this video, I'm going to show you that how we can automate the process of server side template injection. So I have written a simple tool for you guys in order for you to hunt for SSTI on live websites for bug bounties as well as cybersecurity. So let's get started. But before going into this video, if you are new to our channel and if you haven't checked out our website, which is bepractical.tech, then I recommend you to check that out. We have awesome cybersecurity contents as well as web development contents over there. And we will be uploading more and more awesome contents on that particular site. So do check that out. So the link is bepractical.tech. As you can see, this is the website. And we have cyber labs. As you can see, all of these labs are currently on account takeovers, but we are going to add more labs later on. And we have web, web labs where we can practice our uh, UI UX designs. So do check this website out. Now, let us see that how we can uh, automate the process of server side template injection. And also if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have shown you that how we can find SSTI for bug bounties as well as cybersecurity, then do check that out. And now finally, let's get started. First of all, you need to download a tool which is given down in the description. So you need to copy that link and you, do, you need to paste it over here. So let me show you. So this is the link and this is the tool. So this is the tool that I have written for you. So this tool will try to uh, automate all of this SSJ hunting for you guys. So let me show you that how we can use this tool. Now, first thing that you need to do is you need to copy the link from here. After that, you need to open your Kali Linux machine. And here you need to type git clone and you need to paste this. Hit enter, wait for a few seconds. And as you can see, the cloning has completed. And now let's move to the folder. Now the first thing that you need to do is you need to run this particular install.sh file. So let me type this bash install.sh. And you need to run this as root user, so sudo. And now let's wait for a few seconds. And it is going to take some time depending on your internet connection. So as you can see, it is showing me that installation has now completed. Now let me clear this. And now we are finally ready to use this tool. So first of all, first of all let me sh show you that how we can use this tool for our advantage. So here you can see we have payload.json file where we can add our custom payloads to uh, look for SSTI. So many bug bounty hunters, they prefer their own customizable uh, payloads. So we have added this feature, feature as well. So you can add your own payload and this tool will work perfectly with that. So let me show you. So let me show you how we can uh, add our payload. So I'm going to type nano payload.json. You need to open this file in any text editor. And as you can see, here is the payload file. So suppose if I want to add a new payload of my choice, so right now there are only three payloads, but if you want to add more, you can do something like this. Payload. And here you can provide your payload. So for example, let's say dollar uh, seven into seven. And you need to also provide the output. So we know that if we provide a SSTI template payload, then we're supposed to get a specific output, right? Like if you provide seven to seven, then we should get uh, seven times seven or maybe 49, right? So we need to do something like that. So for that, you need to specify output. And let's say in this output, we, we are supposed to see a 49, right? So something like that. So, and suppose that if you are testing on multiple engines, so we know that SSTI behaves different on different engines, right? So in some case, it will give you 49. In some case, it will give you 7777 up to seven digit, right? So you can just provide multiple output like this. 7777777 something like this and it will work absolutely fine now i'm not going to add any payload because for the sake of demonstration i'm just going to keep it for two three payloads but you can definitely add more and more payload in this particular tool now let's try to run, run this pro particular program which is ssti.py to run this program we need to type python3 ssti.py and the particular URL. So we have multiple options over here, as you can see, let me show you. So we can provide the domain URL. We can set the, whether the request is going to be post or get, 
and if the request is going to be post then we need to provide some params parameters where the payload will get injected and finally we can specify the file to scan for so we can uh, provide multiple urls and this tool will scan all of that particular url for vulnerabilities so we are going to see each of these one by one so first of all let us try to see that how we can scan a simple url with a get request so for that i am going to use a lab which i have hosted on my particular server so let me show you this lab I'm just going to paste this over here and this is the simple lab where we have SSTI vulnerability on this particular uh, name parameter so if I type my name it will get reflected so now let's copy this link and let us see whether our tool is able to detect this uh, vulnerability or not so I'm going to type python3 SSTI.py minus u specify the URL and since we are uh, supposed to give a get request so I'm going to type get and here you have to type 1 that's it now hit enter and let's see what happens as you can see it has successfully detected the vulnerability right so this is the vulnerable payload and if I copy this and if I paste it over here as you can see the payload get executed we know that 27 times 10 equals to 270 right so SSTI vulnerability is confirmed. Now let us see that how we can identify uh, SSTI on post request, right? So for that, let's suppose we are going to uh, find SSTI on this particular web application. So now, first of all, what we need to do, you may uh, open your burp suit or you can just do something like this. So in the network tab, you have to go here and let's search for anything let's say spider-man and click on search and let's see what happens so as you can see here is the post request going on to this particular url right so now what we can do is simply we can just copy this url on which the post request request is going and we can type something like this python3 ssti.py minus u and we can paste the url minus p and we need to specify the parameters so if we go down here in request section you can see there is a parameter name right here you can see there is name and now we can provide name and let's hit enter and let's see what happens after that okay sorry so we haven't provided the post a flag so we need to provide that so I'm going to type minus minus post and after that you have to type one and let's see whether this tool will detect the server side template injection on this application so as you can see it has detected that two payloads are currently uh, executing on that particular application so we have this hash 27 into 10 and we have star 27 into 10, into 10 right so let's test one of these so I'm just gonna copy one of these over here just copy this and let's paste it over here and let's see what happens oh sorry I need to paste that particular payload inside this parameter and let's see so as you can see the payload also get executed so our particular tool is working fine on post request as well now let us try to test this tool on bunch of uh, urls right so i'm just going to create a couple of urls over here so urls.txt and let's say the first url will be um, like this url so currently this tool is not able to get a uh, multiple URL on post request it's because I'm trying to add this feature in the new release but for now it can only scan the get request if we are providing multiple URLs and in the second URL I'm going to type the vulnerable one which was this so assume that we have multiple URLs 
and now I'm going to type my name and let's see whether this tool can detect SSTI on multiple URLs. So I'm just going to type python3 SSTI.py minus f and let's provide the file name. So file name was urls.txt. Let's hit enter and let's see what happens after that. So as you can see it has detected a vulnerability in this URL because in the first URL if you see there is no uh, get request because SSTI is not uh, applicable in this get URL right we need to post send a post request on this particular URL and right now I have not added that feature but I am going to add this feature in the latest release so for now it can only detect if you have uh, SSTI in parameters like this but still it is a very good tool if you have a bunch of URLs with different parameters then you should try this tool in order to find SSTI. So I hope that you have understood that how we can automate the process of SSTI. If you have any doubts, if you have any issues then please let me know in the comment section. Also do join our telegram channel so that we can learn and grow together. Thanks for watching.